Welcome back to the course of chemical crystallography. This is the third week we are going to start and in this week I will still continue the discussion on 230 space groups and how to draw their projections on a uh, two dimensional pen and pa using two dimensional uh, presentations using pen and paper. As I indicated the 230 space groups are subdivided into different crystal systems and in terms of centric and non-centric there are two types and the non-centric space groups are further subdivided into chiral and achiral space groups. In the previous lecture we have seen how to draw the uh, projections for a series of monoclinic uh, space groups and some of those were centrosymmetric, some were non-centrosymmetric and in all the cases we considered the origin to be at the uh, corners of the unit cell and the symmetry elements were coinciding with the corresponding origin. In this lecture we will see for a particular type of symmetry combinations the origin cannot be placed in the point of intersection of the two symmetry elements. Such uh, point space groups would include the symmetries like P21 by M, P2 by C, P21 by C, these kind of space groups which are having a combination of twofold with mirror, twofold with glide plane and two on with a glide plane simultaneously, we will see that these combinations of symmetry elements require a shift of origin. Just let us try to see if we combine two on with a mirror, what happens? Suppose we write a 2 1 screw in this direction and this is my unit edge length, unit cell edge length where I have two dots. So now if I have one object somewhere here with plus sign and if I want to do a 2 1 operation on this object which is along the B axis suppose, then what should happen is I will do a 2 1 which 2 fold should, should bring the object here with a minus sign, but then since it is a glide, it moves halfway along the direction of B and becomes minus as it as it is going below the plane. So, I am erasing this one which is not the real position. Simultaneously as I said it is 2 1 with m which is perpendicular to this 2 1 screw, I am drawing the mirror at the lattice point which is here. So, because of this mirror, what would happen is that the symmetry related object appears here and the symmetry related object appears there. Now, as we know that 2 by m generates a center of inversion, here it is 2 1 by m and it is generating a center of inversion but not at the point of intersection of these two symmetries, but it generates a center of inversion in the middle point here. So, that point is at one fourth unit away from the point of intersection of these two symmetry elements. Let us see what happens if we have a combination of twofold and a C glide. 
let us assume that the C glide is from left to right and the unit cell spans from here to a point here. So, if I draw my twofold axis, the C glide is perpendicular to B and twofold is parallel to B. This is the direction of B. So, now if I take the object just like before and unit translation takes it there. So, when I am trying to do a twofold operation, it takes the point below the plane of projection. So, it makes it minus. The same way, symmetry related object also becomes minus here. Now, if I try to apply the C glide, which is a reflection followed by translation. So, this translation is half translation along the direction C and it remains as plus. The same thing if we do it for this object which is already mirror related, we do a mirror. So, minus becomes inverted minus and then on translation that appears here as minus. So, what has happened if we look at it carefully that we have generated a twofold symmetry here so that the points which are this and that are related by twofold and simultaneously we see that the point which is here and the point now which is there are related by a center of inversion located at this place. And once again it is here. You see that the position of this origin is shifted by one fourth with respect to the center. With respect to this twofold axis, this distance is one fourth. So, this shift of origin has to be brought into to see that the unit cell does not have the center of inversion coinciding with the point of intersection of the twofold or two one screw axis along with the mirror or the glide plane. So, to see that, to show that on the right hand side I am now going to draw the projection of P21 by M. So, for that, what I need is a rectangle which represents the AB plane, and then I will apply the symmetry elements on this. Where we have the two ones, we have the two one screw here and there. And now I am placing my object here, which is comma plus, and I am drawing the translation related objects as usual. 
So now if I do 2 1 operation with these points for my easy understanding I am dividing this unit cell into 4 parts so that I should place the 2 1 related object at a right place. So now if I start with point number 1 and do a 2 1 operation it comes here with a minus sign. If I do the same for the symmetry related upper point here it appears at this point. Now, as I indicated, this has a symmetry mirror perpendicular to this 2 1. The mirror is here and the mirror is there as well. So, by doing this mirror operation, what we get here is this. For that point, we get one object here we get one object there, we get one object here. So now if I once again apply 2 1 on this point, what should happen is it should go up and come somewhere there with a minus sign. Same happens to this, comes here with a minus sign this point goes far away with a minus sign and so on. So now what do we see is that it has generated a mirror plane in the middle of the unit cell and it has generated another 2 1 screw to the midpoint of the medium middle portion of the unit cell through the center of the unit cell. So now one careful observation what we see that the point 1 here is my point 2 center of inversion appears here. The center of inversion appears there it appears here and it appears here as well. So now if we understand now that the inversion center is on the 2 1 screw but it is not coinciding with the mirror which we have seen in the case when we combine 2 1 with a mirror. So what we need to do is if we shift the origin or if we shift the position of the mirrors we can redraw this figure in the following manner. These are the translation related objects and the 2 1 as usual is like this and the middle 2 1 is also there and now I am placing the mirror which is one fourth shifted from origin you can see here it is one fourth shifted from origin. So I am placing the mirror which is shifted not on the line here but it is shifted by one fourth this side and it is shifted one fourth on the other side. So now if we start putting these symmetry related objects it should appear like that. The 2 1 screw 
should take the object here with a minus sign and the corresponding mirror image should appear there. The object which is here comes at that point with a minus sign, the corresponding mirror image appears there. So, the translation symmetry related object of that minus sign appears here. So, that means now the origin is at the corners that is at the eight corners, the center of the faces and here, there and also at the middle of the unit cell as well. This should have been plus because this is a mirrored operation. So, this is plus. So, as we see that this plus gets inverted to minus, that plus gets inverted to minus through the inversion center in the middle of the unit cell. So, by doing this, what are the equivalent points that we have got? Point number 1 is x, y, z. Point number 2 is x bar y plus half z bar point number 3 x y, y bar plus half z and the fourth one is x bar y bar z bar. So, the relationship between 1 and 4 is inversion, 2 and 3 is also inversion. I hope you could follow this crystallographic projection of P21 by M. In the same manner, let us now try to do P2 by C. So, here I have a combination of two fold and a C glide. My twofold goes here, but this twofold is not in the plane of projection, but it is one fourth shifted along C. I hope you remember that we are drawing OB from left to right and OA from top to bottom and C axis is perpendicular to the plane of this board. So, this two one sorry two fold that we are drawing is one fourth lifted up. So, now if we have our object of concern here the symmetry translation symmetry related objects are placed in the un next unit cell as usual just like the previous cases. Now, we are trying to do the two one sorry two fold operation on these points. So, if you apply two fold operation on these points first of all it should go with minus since the two fold is one fourth above the plane of projection, it goes halfway down the plane of projection by doing a two fold operation. So, I write it as always minus half. Now, as we see here, there is a C glide. So, if we want to place a C glide, then what would happen is that we should draw 
C glide like this instead of a bold line and C glide means reflection followed by translation along C. So, a point which is on the right hand side of the glide plane comes on the left hand side with a translational component of half in the upper direction. The same thing happens with this point, but a tra half translation, it is already half translated, another half translation makes it minus. So, the same point which is here is translated to the other side and the point which is here is translated here to as a minus sign. So, as a result, what we have got is a center of inversion at a point which is here, there, there and here. Let us write down the other points which we have not written earlier. In addition to those four inversion centers, see the relationship between this comma plus and comma minus is inversion about the center of the face here, center of the face there, center of the face here, center of the face there and at the center of the image here. Now you see what is the relationship between the point here and point there. These two points are again related by C glide and the glide lies through the middle of the unit cell which is here. What is the relationship between the points this one? and that one. These two points are once again related by a twofold passing through the center of the unit cell but lifted by one fourth. So, in this case what we see is that the two folds are not on the plane of projection rather they are one fourth up. The mirror plane which goes it is perpendicular to the plane of projection. This mirror is the C glide and hence the point where the C glide meets the two, uh, two fold axis is not the center of inversion rather the center of inversion is one fourth down compared to the point of intersection. This is what we observe in cases of these uh, specific space groups. So, what are the equivalent points in this case? I am designating the points with numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, the equivalent points are x, y, z, x bar y, z bar plus half. x, y bar, z plus half and fourth is x bar, y bar, z bar. So, you see again these points 1 and 4 are inversion related, points 3 and 2 are inversion related. So, this is how we can draw the stereographic projections of some simple space groups. Now, we will see how can we generate the corresponding equivalent points applying symmetry operations only and without drawing the equivalent points. So, in this case, we will again start with the simple one P1, which means there is no symmetry. So, it has only one equivalent point x, y, z as we have already learned. When we go to P2, 
one bar we have inversion center in it so inversion center means all the coordinates that we have are going to be inverted so x y z should become x bar y bar z bar and we have two equivalent points when we say p2 this means that we have x y z then we apply a twofold parallel to y as a result we end up getting x bar y z bar in case of pm we have x y z we apply mirror perpendicular to y we end up getting x y bar z and in case of c2 we have one point x y z the other point is x plus half y plus half and z these are the two lattice points in c centered lattice and when we apply two fold parallel to y in the first case we get x bar y z bar in the second case by applying two fold parallel to y we get minus x minus half y plus half z bar and as i have indicated that minus x we write as x bar and then when we have minus half it means the molecule is outside the unit, unit cell to bring it in we simply add 1 so when we add 1 to minus half we get plus half y plus half z bar now let us see if we do it for a simple centrosymmetric lattice like p2 by m so if we start with x y z we first apply two fold parallel to y we get x bar y z bar if we apply mirror perpendicular to y on the first point we get x y bar z and if i now apply two fold parallel to y on the third point we end up getting x bar y bar z bar you see here if i apply mirror perpendicular to y on point number two we end up getting the point number four which is inversion related to point number one and point number three is inversion related to point number two. So in this case with without any difficulty we could derive the four equivalent points for P2 by M space group. Let us try to derive it for a C centered lattice which is CC. So now in case of CC we start with point number 1 which is x y z we apply a c glide perpendicular to y when we have c glide it is x y bar z plus half this becomes point number two the third point is a c related point compared to the first point it is c centering so we should get x plus half y plus half z and then on this we will apply c perpendicular to y that is c glide perpendicular to y 
this is C centering. So what we end up is x plus half minus y minus half z plus half because the translational component is along z. So now we replace this middle coordinate that is the coordinate of y like this y mi minus y becomes y bar and minus half is removed by adding 1 to this coordinate so it becomes plus half z plus half. So this is the fourth point in the lattice in the, in the space group CC. So in this lecture in last about half an hour we have learned how to draw the space group diagrams for some of the monoclinic space groups with centro symmetry, non centro symmetry and we have shown how one can shift the origin when there is a combination of 2 1 with mirror, 2 fold with C glide and 2 1 with C glide and then we started learning how to derive the equivalent points without drawing the space group diagram. We will continue the same in the next lecture as well.